This is about the wise men who came to see Jesus. In, in chapter 2 of Matthew, it says, After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, during the time of King Herod, the Magi, or the wise men from the east, came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? You know, there are many people today that are still looking for Jesus. They're still looking and saying and seeking, Is this the one? We know that Jesus Christ was born. He walked on this earth for 33 years. He died on the cross for all of mankind to save us from our sins, to heal our bodies, to bring redemption to the land. And we, we know that. And we know that He rose again on the third day after they crucified Him. They, he rose again. And I do believe that. He is my Savior and my Redeemer. And these wise men, these magi, were looking for Him. We want to worship Him, they said. And in verse 3, when King Herod heard this, he was disturbed. He was troubled. And, and all of Ju Jerusalem with him, when he had uh, called together all of the chief uh, priests and teachers of the law, he said, where is this Christ supposed to be born? And in verse 5, they said, in Bethlehem of Judea. For this is what the prophet has written. In verse 7, Then Herod called the Magi, or the wise men, secretly and found out from uh, them the exact time that the star appeared. He sent to them Beth, to, to go to Bethlehem. He says, Go and find this child so that I can go and worship him also. You know, the, the enemy wants to know where we are. And as long as, as we... Um, are wise in the things that we do and wise in what we say in, in this day and time, then the enemy will not find out where we are. As soon as they found him, report to me so that I can go and worship him. That's what Herod said. And of course he was lying. And after they had heard the king, they went on their way and, and they followed the star. And when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they presented to him gifts. They presented gold and incense and myrrh and gold standing for deity. You know, that he was uh, God's only begotten son. He was royalty. You know, and that's who we are today. If you're in Christ Jesus, then you are a royal priesthood. And they, in, they gave him incense, and which is, uh, comes from oil. And they, they brought the myrrh. They brought the joy. Uh, you know, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. You know, and I think this is so important right here that the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, once a person knows Jesus, and accepts Jesus as their Lord and Savior, they go another way. They do not go back the way that they have come from. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, it says that Jesus has been made unto us wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. Praise the name of the Lord forever. You know, and it also says in James chapter 1, Verse 5, that if any person lack wisdom, let them ask the Lord for that wisdom because he will give it generously. He will not find fault with us, but he will give that wisdom to us. And it will just rise up in us and we will know how to deal wisely in the affairs of this life. Jesus, at this Christmas time, let him be your wisdom. Thank you for him. Jesus.